Hello and welcome to this presentation. You'll see how to use Oracle Enterprise Manager 13.4 Cloud Control to create a Kubernetes cluster with DHCP networked nodes. Please view the presentation titled About Kubernetes as a Service for Oracle Private Cloud at Customer. That presentation provides much useful background information regarding features supporting Kubernetes as a Service. This and other related presentations discussing Kubernetes as a service have been developed for the Oracle Private Cloud at Customer subscription customers. These presentations also apply to self-service users of Oracle Enterprise Manager with the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. With the release of Oracle Private Cloud Appliance 2.43 controller software, and with Oracle Enterprise Manager 13.4 Update 6, with the VT or Virtualization and SI or Systems Infrastructure plugins, customers can easily create and manage Kubernetes clusters. The DHCP option is one of two offered by Oracle Enterprise Manager to create a Kubernetes cluster. This option is best suited when the data center network accessing the cluster is configured to use DHCP. The Kubernetes cluster is created in a tenant group that is assigned to the customer user as an Oracle Enterprise Manager zone, so the customer user must be assigned the zone in the user's self-service portal quota allocation. This option creates a cluster with six nodes, three control plane nodes, and three worker nodes. Node VM sizes are also fixed and cannot be changed during the creation process. A static IP address is required for the load balancer when creating the cluster. The IP address is provided through a network profile which has been created by an administrator and is assigned to the user making the request. The Kubernetes implementation in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance uses Virtual Routing Redundancy Protocol, or VRRP, to support the floating IP address for the cluster load balancer. If you have multiple clusters on the same network, especially with multiple appliances, you must set a unique VRRP identifier for the cluster. Let's take a look at the steps to create a DHCP networked Kubernetes cluster with Oracle Enterprise Manager 13.4 Cloud Control. In this session, I'm logged into the Oracle Enterprise Manager self-service portal as a customer user. The Kubernetes cluster management interface is displayed and currently there are no clusters. Click on Create Kubernetes Cluster. The general input interface, which is the first of four steps to this process, appears. The request name is internal to Oracle Enterprise Manager and provides a way to monitor the job once it begins. Cluster creation can run from 45 minutes to over an hour depending on a number of factors. The destination zone values are going to be those which are allocated to you by the customer administrator. There is only one zone configured for this system, so retain the value. Provide a descriptive cluster name using upper and lower case letters and dashes. Oracle Enterprise Manager will enforce the rules. I input the name all uppercase LVC dash uppercase K lowercase U B and E dash all uppercase DHCP. Click next. The cluster configuration interface appears. Click the magnifying glass next to the network input. A small dialog box with a list of networks appears. For this demonstration, I scroll and click the VM public VLAN network record in the list, then click select. The value appears in the network input. For IP assignment type, select DHCP. The load balancer created for the cluster requires a static IP address. Network profiles provide static IP addresses for such purposes. Click the network profile for load balancer input, then click the appropriate network profile name on the list. Here, click KS8 cluster underscore NW underscore profile. The VRRP value is optional. However, if you are using VRRP, be sure to provide a value that prevents collision on the network. 
For this demonstration, input 242. Click Next. There are two schedule settings in the interface that appears. We keep the default start date and end date settings, which means the cluster will be created immediately and run as long as we choose. Click Next. The review interface appears. When satisfied the configuration and schedule are correct, click Finish. The cluster interface appears with a confirmation message. Dismiss the message by clicking the small x. I created another Kubernetes cluster immediately after I created this one and waited until both clusters had completed the configuration process before refreshing the screen. The cluster state shows that the cluster is available immediately on creation. Click the cluster name on the list to see details about the cluster. Here there are the list of control plane nodes, worker nodes, and node pools, as well as a list of the most recent requests. Click back to return to the Kubernetes cluster interface of the self-service portal. In this presentation, we discussed details about the DHCP Kubernetes cluster and followed the brief discussion with a demonstration of the features to create the cluster. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.